Driving on a, on a tight circuit with, with no runoff is very, very different from driving on the kind of circuits that most people race on. Tracks with closed fences by the sides, uh, the narrow tracks, because you also get a heightened sense of speed. Everything's ramped up. The fear factor, the excitement, the adrenaline, everything is, is, is magnified. You just know that you can't afford to make any kind of mistake. Trying a little bit too hard uh, and spinning the car, seeing the wall ever, ever so slightly through the windscreen, didn't hit it, but it was, it was very close. The first time you really go for it in a supercar is, is always a memorable experience, but one of the, the best things is that all supercars have got very different characters. A really powerful rear-wheel drive car is going to be a, a bigger challenge than perhaps one with four-wheel drive, and, and that's what makes it exciting. It's the relentlessness of the acceleration usually. You can be in conventionally fast cars and it'll feel good for a short period. I think the exciting of the supercar is having that much power that it never quite feels like it's tailing off. There's nothing better really when you're a car fan, you know, to get behind the wheel of something that's, uh, that's very quick, the sensation, just acceleration and, uh, and grip and cornering, it's, it's yeah, like, like nothing else. Racing is exciting and if you can accurately replicate that in a game, it's going to be exciting. I don't think there's any need to really overcomplicate it. I think if, if, if you get a, an honest sense of what it's like to be racing against other people in cars, then job done.